with our player hit functionality complete, in this video, we'll implement our game over screen and reset functionality. In the link in the description, you'll find the link to freely download the assets and scripts or macro we created in this video. Feel free to download them and follow along, dissect the macro, or to simply use the completed effect in your game or project. Let's now create our end screen UI. To do this, we'll duplicate our main menu canvas game object and use that as a base for our game over screen. And since we've already created animation on our main menu sprites, by simply replacing our sprites, the animation will simply apply using our new sprites. The two main components that we want to add in our game over screen is a UI text game object to display our player's ending score. and a button to restart our game. With our game over menu complete, let's next create a scene graph game object variable and place our game over menu as its value. We also want to create an object graph button variable for our restart button and place our restart button as its value. And let's also create a text variable for our high score text and place this text component as the value. With that complete, let's now go into our game over state and we'll begin by creating a set active node to activate our game over screen. Let's next set our end score text to our player score. To do this, let's duplicate our on interstate event node and then create a text set text node. For our input, we'll use our in score text variable we just created, and for our string, we'll use our player score value and then convert the integer into a string. Let's next use our restart button to restart our game. To do this, we'll use both an on button click event and a keyboard input event. For our keyboard input, let's next create a custom event which we'll call restart. And we'll also need to place our restart button variable as the input target for our on button click event node. Let's leave our AG game super state and let's make a transition from our super state to our start state. Within this transition, we'll use our restart custom event. Let's also go back to our main menu state machine. In our main menu state machine, we want to create a transition from our play game to start to our start state. Within our transition, we want to again use our restart custom event. However, for the target game object, we want to use our main menu manager scene variable. And let's also go back into our start state. And let's create a set active node to deactivate our game over screen. We also want to make sure that our can play game boolean is false. So let's create a set variable node for our can play game variable. With that complete in our game manager, let's toggle our start state back to start and test what we've done so far. We can see at our starting menu that all our appropriate game objects are inactive as well as our scene variables. When our game is over, we're displayed with our player's score, and if we hit our restart button, we're taken back to our main menu. If we start our game once again, we can see we're now taken back to our game. In our next lesson, we'll finish our asteroid 
and alternate charge and upgrading spawning functionality. We'll also implement the ability to adjust the amount of hits an asteroid or enemy can take as well as the amount of damage it must take from the laser beam before they're destroyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, and free game asset giveaways.